So dude, did I tell you I'm hitting up two nights at MSG next week? You son of a bitch. I know, right? Face value. It's going to be sick. Why is it that every time we mail order, you tell me you got shut out? But then two weeks before the show, I find out you were sitting 10th row, page side. We're not page side. We are fishman side. Besides, what can I tell you? I have a tight network. People like me. I guess it's just karma, or whatever. Fuck karma. You pull tickets out of your ass like it's a goddamn magic show. Have you tried putting out feelers on Craigslist or PT? Right. Craigslist. I'll just show up on the Lower East Side with $300 cash, waiting to be ass raped by an off duty cop that hates hippies. Well, what about StubHub or eBay? I cannot justify spending $500 for a 400 level seat behind the stage with obstructed view. Then I guess you're shit out of luck, bro. I hope you get a really, really long, first set us a lot. I hope that you can stop being so critical of the band's set lists and start enjoying the music for what it's worth. You were telling me that you're okay with a loving cup encore every third show. That song should have been retired at Festival 8 and you fucking know it. I happen to like loving cup. It reminds me of a girl I dated in college. I was the man that brought her roses when she ain't got none. Seriously? I wish you hadn't told me that. Now I have to go through life knowing that you were secretly gay. Whatever. Did you hear that Prince is playing MSG on the 29th? There are rumors that he might sit in with Fish the following night. If he does, that would make you only the third gayest person in the venue. Prince would be first. Then Paige. Then you. Why do you have such a hard time accepting that Paige is a sensitive, thoughtful musician who is not afraid to show his emotions? I bet he keeps stuffed animals on his bed. Do not hate on Paige. He's the glue that holds this band together. He kept everyone in touch after Coventry. Of course he did. He had nothing else to do. His solo album was titled, Back in the Basement, because he literally had to move back into his parents' basement when Fish broke up. We should all be thankful that they are back together now and playing with renewed enthusiasm. I hope they open and close the show with Kill Devil Falls, then anchor with that song that Paige wrote about getting divorced. Are you talking about all of these dreams or beauty of a broken heart? Dude, are you fucking kidding me? LOL. I don't really like either of those songs, but you know you're going to be all dialed into the MSG webcasts. You're right. I will be. That way if they bust out something epic, I will hate you a little bit less. I would love to hear Attila. I bet you would, Panama Red.